I'm Barry Ingham. I'm here in South Africa to show you one of the most spectacular areas I've ever seen. It's called the Drakensberg Ranges and we're about to head off on a six-day adventure. Come with me and see this beautiful countryside. Tucked away in the Drakensberg Ranges is Sangabala, our retreat for the next few days. Well, we've just had our one and a half days of luxury here at Sangabala. Now it's about time to head off to the high mountains in the Drakensberg Ranges. And we have our group here now. From the left, Ian, John, Lynn, Barry, Liz, Sue, Ruth, and guess who's behind the camera? Anne. We've walked down from the Sangabala Lodge to the reception area. Here we'll pack up and uh, get ready to drive for at least two and a half hours to a place called the Sentinel. Okay. We're here just below the Sentinel. And everyone's getting ready and organized, so we'll be off in a few minutes. This map shows you the track to Tequila Falls, which will be our campsite for tonight. After that, we'll just wander across the plains and see where we end up. Packed up and we're off. This is Lynn and Anne. Yes. Off on another adventure. <laughs> and looming above us is the Sentinel and our route to the chain ladder. The scenery is quite incredible here at the moment just looking out over the ranges towards Johannesburg which is about four hours driving away. You guys are a bunch of mountain goats. Yeah, I've got mountain goats. This is quite a remarkable place we're in and we will be for the next yeah. six days. This is the ascent of the chain ladder. Originally built in the mid 1900s it's quite a remarkable achievement The chain ladder has become an easy access route to the top of the plateau. Even though it looks incredibly exciting. And there goes Sue. 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 There's Sue. That's and enough for me, John. I think you better come. Okay. And Lynn? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Lynn. Get stuck into it. <laughs> <laughs> well, did I say easy? Not so easy. 
I should take it out. Yeah. You are. Heaven me, help me. <laughs> And here we are, a couple of our group coming over the top, Elizabeth, and right behind her, Ruth. This was a spectacular climb coming over this face. Even though it was only 100 metres, it was very exciting. When we ascended the chain ladder, we found this group of university students, just out for the day, doing a bit of climbing in the mountains. As we walked over to the rim of the plateau, we could look down in the distance to Sangabala. Just across the valley is Tagila Falls, our new campsite, with a slight drop just in between. Our first day is nearly over and we've camped beside this beautiful crystal clear creek known as Tagila Creek. This is our first morning on the plateau and we're up early. Everyone's doing the washing and getting it ready to head off down to Tagila Falls. As we walk towards the falls, the clouds are billowing up from the valleys below. Everyone is down at the escarpment now, just to see our first sunrise on the plateau. And it is one incredible sunrise. About half an hour from our campsite, we find this interesting gap in the mountains called God's Window, looking down to Tequila Falls. These falls are approximately 900 metres to the valley floor. One slip here and you'll need a good parachute to get you to the bottom of the falls at least in one piece. Well, where to go next? I'll just sit down here and think about it for a little while. On our walk across the plateau, we find some really wonderful plants. And this is one strange plant. Flowers are abundant right along the plateau. And here are just a few. Ian, our guide, 
is making lunch for us today. This is also a damage control stop, doing a little bit of work on Elizabeth's foot. We're ready for a good photographic opportunity with the mountains in the background. This is our crew and we're off again. We're looking at the map today to find out what country we're going to be in. We stay in Lesotho the whole day today. South Africa or Lesotho. And it looks like Lesotho. Wonderfully looking good. I just keep walking past. The lighting's starting to fade now, so we've decided to head off to the tents and find a nice warm spot. Well, I hope the sauce is it's an oily one, it's not a... Whatever happens, mate, oh, yeah. fine. That's Whatever all right. happens, we're not no going to complain. Can you get uh, Anne? Rubbish. Rubbish. Fold them in, Anne. Fold them in. Fold the lids in. Sure, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to cut somebody. Oh, right. <laughs> there you go, Anne. Top of the class. <laughs> uh, I was telling you that last time, we had that, that retired major from Anne. What teamwork this is, eh? That's wonderful. Hell of a thing. Next morning we're packed up and ready to go again. There's nothing like carrying an extra kilo or two. How about 35? The mountains in the distance are called Eeny, Meeny, Miney, Mo. These precipitous cliffs have been used by rock climbers all around the world since the 1940s. Now, was that last set of mountains called Madonna and her worshippers? Just come over this uh, incredible ridge just to see Mawini Pinnacles, one of the most spectacular areas in the Drakensberg Ranges. It is absolutely fantastic. It, the view from here is just superb. Couldn't ask for We found one of the fairly rare animals on the plateau, a black-backed jackal. These animals are very shy, and this one was photographed from about 500 meters away. African sky blue, African sky blue, will you bless my life? We come across these two Lesotho tribesmen with their dogs wandering across the plateau. We presume that they're looking for their sheep that have wandered off across the countryside. African sunshine, African river water, will you bless my life? Oh, will you bless my life? It doesn't take too much time and we're off again. Lunch is over and that is that. A sight you don't see every day. Marijuana dealers heading off down the mountain to sell their wares. What will the future bring? You shine through me, but will you see me through? African sky blue. 48 hours ago, we walked over that skyline ridge to see the Mawini Pinnacles. And now, bitterly cold, we see them from the completely opposite direction. Here we have John and Lynn out on another photographic shoot. Today has been one of the better days to see wildlife. This baboon, called a sentinel, just sitting up on top of the mountains watching out for its uh, group. And as we walk along the side of this cliff, a very special place for the Cape Vulture. This is one of the only places in the world where the Cape Vulture nests. And his war is underground With cordite in the darkness He milks the bleeding veins of gold When the smoking rock face murmurs These birds are quite magnificent to watch as they soar through the valleys and over the mountains. 
they have an incredibly large wingspan. It seems like they're just floating in midair. This is wonderful. One slight disturbance and they're all off again. Just on the right hand side of the cliff is their main breeding area and it's about 500 meters to the valley floor. Over every hill, there's another view and another photograph to be taken. As we descended down from the mountain peaks, we find this crystal clear pool. And we're just wondering exactly what Ian was actually saying. Watch me lead three and a half days walking and four hours drive to any major city and we have still good mobile reception. But we're thinking about putting this photo on the local Vogue magazine. It would have been perfect. And here we have Ruth looking down the valley and then across to Cathedral Peak and the bell. Luckily there wasn't any mountain goats in this area or this spot would have already been taken. We have eventually found Anne, and not hiding behind a camera either. Well, the crew is starting to get a little bit adventurous after four days out just to get a view. After five days, we descend back down into the valleys. This has been one remarkable trip. Our last day in the mountains, and we're soaking up as much as we possibly can the flowers, the views, and as we look down to our last campsite in the valley. Donkey trains move up and down these mountains every day and this group heading back to their camp in Lesotho. This is our last day and as we look back towards the Drakensberg Ranges we remember the excitement and the beautiful places we've seen over the last six days.
Listen. 